Hello guys, my name is Rush Badger, and you guys weren't kidding around when you said that you would give me some really awful slash silly setups, and the one that I selected is one from a gentleman by the name of Not A Good Sit Rep with a perfect picture, it begins. Okay, so his class setup is called The Fuck Is Hip Fire Class. It's called the FAMAS with it. You can't do it 12 times, so I did it 6 times because 12 times only available on sniper rifles. A laser sight, Glock 17, and hard mo hard mode is no med kit. So I decided to go with the mass. So this thing is disgusting. All right, it's really ugly. You know what I feel like when I see this thing? Do you guys remember Deuce Bigelow, Male Gigolo? Where one of his clients is like this gigantic lady. For those of you that have not seen that movie, by the way, you should see it this weekend. It's a long weekend. You have zero excuses unless you live in Europe. But I can easily say, watch Deuce Bigelow, Male Gigolo, and you'll understand what I'm saying. Basically, he has this client, this female client, that is very, very large. And every time that she walks around in public, there's this guy that'll just go, Freak! Or like, behemoth! Like, everywhere that she goes, just, Freak! Just everywhere that she goes. So, that's exactly what I felt like using this thing. Not only did I put a bipod, I didn't need to put a bipod on it, but I figured if you're gonna go Freak, why not go full Freak class? This is just gross. It's really gross, at least if you ask me. Despite the fact that I can somehow do well with it, but I don't approve of your kind of giving you a sandwich, dog. Okay. Now, another thing that I like to tell you about is my... And I don't know what happened here. I don't know why I somehow got the cloth monster. This guy was like, I can run away from you, I bet. Watch me run. Watch oh, watch me get shot in the rectum. That's, that's no fun. But another thing that I like to tell you about is instead of... I want to say it this way. He's basically my main man, but instead of my main man Black Dynamite, his name is Tri-State. So my main man Tri-State. I don't know if that works out as well. And yes, I was deciding on whether... Look, I take out a new magazine, I put a new magazine in, and I still have two bullets left. Where? What's happening, Dice? What? What? I thought we had an agreement that when you take magazines out and you put magazines with fresh bullets in, you actually get more ammo in your counter. I... I don't know the way that dice works, I don't know the way that magaz- Maybe magazine reloading is different at a certain altitude, or perhaps it's some sort of other- Maybe it doesn't work that way in Sweden. Maybe I'm just not all that culturally knowledged or enriched. I'm not gonna talk about cultural enrichment. And I was like, come on, man. Come on. His name is Best Snogger, alright? This guy's name was Best Snogger, and he doesn't give anybody ammo because he's a snog face. Like, look at this guy. Not only does he crouch walk everywhere, like, look, we're all saying Snogger. Actually, it's pretty well only just me, but Snogger, you fat frog. Give me... I would rather you just died so I can pick up your kit and give it to somebody else, and they can give me ammo, or I can give myself ammo. Better yet, whatever. Now, the bus monster is going to shoot me in the face, but to complete my point, I would like to tell you about... Not my main man, Black Dynamite, but Black Dynamite, I sell drugs to the community. No, instead of that guy, I would like to tell you about a gentleman by the name of Tri-State. He's a very talented artist on DeviantArt, and I think you guys remember, do you remember my background a while back? You probably don't, because I know a lot of you are not all that involved in terms of like, you know every detail of my channel, you might watch a video every now and again, but he's a very talented guy that he makes these really high resolution and high quality images that will take like 10 hours and they'll have like 880 layers in Photoshop but I think they're very well done and I think that he deserves more attention so I'll link you like this image is what I used for my background a while back he has another one called Rush and then this new one that he did for Battlefield 4 called Siege of Shanghai and I suggest that you go and check him out I'll leave a link in the description he's a great guy and you saw in that room I'm pretty much boned, alright? I have to only hip fire the FAMAS, and it's not gonna work. Hopefully, I, I told you guys that detail. I, I'm not gonna be aiming down sight. Now, I can, like, this is the one exception that I gave to myself. And I don't know why Carl is getting on that thing, despite the fact that, that guy's name is Raffle Mango. I don't think I would expect very much out of that guy. Just, yeah, Badger, you can have four squad mates. Would you like the gentleman by the name of Raffle Mango to be in your... No, I, I would not. I don't want that guy in my squad. I don't want him on my team. Maybe if he was like our mascot, R Raffle Mango sounds like an excellent name for a man. In the face! Oh, didn't quite get him because he was crouched and he was getting up. But actually, that was Raffle Mango. He came back for seconds, and I don't worry. I was ripe, and the, oh, that's like the beginning of a CSI Miami episode. But I wanted to say. I think I forgot to mention that. This is gonna be hip fire only. So, now, what I wanted to say was that I give myself the one handicap and that guy got it right in the face. Oh, somehow hip fire with. I guess the laser sight gives me a bit of an advantage. 
But you can tell, I am allowed to aim down sight, but I am not allowed to fire while aim down sight. So I can use a 6x scope to my advantage, and I was praying, I was like, fingers crossed, don't shoot me in the feet, Mr. Recon. I know I could die and bleed out right now. And look at Mr. Selfish Medic not giving me a med kit. He was, he made the gesture, and then he didn't do it. I think he tossed it around the corner once he got around there, though. So yes, I am allowed to aim down sight to actually look, or scout, or see... There's a bad guy in the bushes with a radioactive Twinkie like that guy from Pixel Enemy. Do you guys remember? I don't know if you guys remember that Pixel Enemy Bad Company 2. Like, it's basically bad. How to not, how not to be a new with Bad Company 2. Everybody will remember that. I still remember that line. There's a douchebag in the bushes with a... No, but it, what is it? It's. I think he says there's a douchebag behind the rocks with a radioactive Twinkie. Yeah, oh god, that line. But yes, I am allowed to use it six times to look around and spot people, but I can't actually fire while I'm down sight. So it's hip fire only with the FAMAS. Granted, I do have the one advantage of the M26 mask, but I think that's reasonable, all right? I thought you guys would give that to me. Now, not a sit rep did not specify in his little thing that I couldn't use the the M26 mask. He said I just couldn't use a med kit. So I have to conveniently gobble on these whenever the other medics set them down, or Jamal or whoever, Jamal's sister, Jamal's brother. That, now, I, you can also probably tell that I am dying a little bit less than my teammates. That's because I'm wearing Spec Ops Black's camo. Oh, get one guy. Get a second guy. Third guy in the face. That's triple headshots, but I still... It, it's not the same, all right? It's not the same. I can shoot, like, 50 guys in the face, and this was round two. Fight night round two. I guess I get that first guy, and then this guy just gets tricked. And the other guy, pardon my French, but he gets shot in the dick to be the most descriptive... I guess penis will be more appropriate for most of you, but... Okay, get the first guy. This guy's so keen. He... He wants the biscuit. He want, Oh, shot in the dick, man. That is so... That's... I know that's vulgar, but I can't really... Like, if I were to give a... Some sort of report or, like, a term paper on what exactly occurred right there, I think that's the most appropriate way of describing it. Even if it is vulgar, even if it's... Excusing my French, I think it's the best way to describe it. Just... I know a lot of people want the biscuit. You want the two piece and the biscuit. Just don't, don't get too greedy because going for the knife is not always the best thing. Now, if you're out of ammo and you're really struggling, as I probably will eventually, you probably will run into that if you're using this class, if you try out this class. There are gonna be so many different points where it's like, and I somehow yet again get Jackal. But Jackal comes out of nowhere, all right? Jackal Zero comes out of nowhere in several different instances throughout this entire gameplay. But I wanted to say that if you're going to be using the FAMAS without the mass, it's it's no bueno. Now look, can you can you see what I'm saying? Sometimes you can see the bipod on the end of the FAMAS, sometimes you can't. Uh, one batter batter. Uh, that would be... Two batter batter. Uh, three batter batter. Oh, I can't get... That's another thing that you will definitely notice is that... At least in Battlefield games, you guys probably remember from Bad Company 2 as well. Crouchwalk and MLG Pro, good morning Carl, and good morning Carl, he's also, I don't know why his name is Pack Swimming 101 but you will notice that in a lot of Battlefield games, especially with shotguns, and you even notice this in Bad Company too, oftentimes visu visually your round will go off, but it doesn't actually register sometimes, so like, and that's, that's only, I'm, I'm talking about this strictly when it's a one-on-one, -on -one and you, look, now you can see the bipod, but then sometimes it disappears on the FAMAS. I don't know. This thing's extraordinarily ugly, so either way, it's not going to get any cuter, if you will. But I, I definitely don't think that a lot of people are knowledgeable about this whole shotgun thing. So, if you and a guy are basically one-on-one, -on -one, it's a very, very close gunfight, oftentimes it... Dunk dunk! And that's a lot of lag. You notice that there is definitely a lot of lag right there, and that's that's very noticeable. But even in Bad Company 2, you'll notice, and Battlefield 3 as well, with a lot of shotguns, usually you'll get a round off just as you're dying, and way to look out for AT mines there. Oh god, what? I. I don't. I don't know. It's like the intro. What are you doing? You live in a trash can. That, that, I feel like the Grouch. I feel like that Dave Chappelle skit with the Grouch now. The Grouch now. Do you guys remember that guy? I live in a trash can. Oh, I'm the poorest mom on Sesame Street. Nobody's helping me. And that's the same skit with Dave Chappelle where he talks about grape drink and Sunny D. And we all know that's true. Just I want some grape drink, baby. Mmm, it's purple and it's really great. But 
Finishing my point about the shotguns, which is deviated from severely. I think I got like two other, three other topics in between there. You will notice in Bad Company 2 and Battlefield 3, perhaps in Battlefield 4, if you get a round off just as you're dying with your shotgun, oftentimes it will not register even though blood comes out and it looks like you hit the guy. So that was the situation about three minutes ago, despite the fact I strayed away from it. If you want to go back and see it, by all means. Alright, by all means. And I do think that the mass is pretty much a necessity. Because you will find yourself in so many instances, and I thought this tank was or like, you got an extra seat, bra? And he just said, he said no. I, I was a little bit butthurt about that, but everything moved on. You will notice that even your sidearm is not that lethal. So you're oftentimes going to, oh look, all my bullets are gone because I'm using the FAMAS and I have a ridiculously high rate of fire and my reload time's too long. Why are you being a corner monster, Mr. Muzz Kong? That's no good. But even here, like I said, so in that situation with the FAMAS and that guy got it in the kneecaps by the other guy, I was just waiting for this guy. I don't think Jamal even cared. He didn't even care about the guy that was army. He was like, you know what, brah, I'll give you that one. I'll, I'll give you a gimme. I'll give you a mulligan on that one. He did get the cloth monster, by the way. A jackal, all right. And I can't even begin to tell you how many times I shoot at your cat. There's so many catfish teammates that I happen to shoot at just because of wearing black. But at the same time, I am in no position to make fun of them because I'm wearing black myself. I'm not wearing black to look Russian, all right. I'm looking black to blend in with the night. That's why... That's why I wear black. I don't wear black for the... I, I know a lot of people have emphasized that on YouTube and other places and forums like, Oh man, you really want to wear black in this situation because you really blend in with the rest of the team. I, I just do it because it's better night came out. Now granted, this map is not exactly the equivalent of night, I would say at least. But I think that's the real reason why I wear it. I'm not playing the race card because it's Jamal and black camo and that goes well together. But Jackal Zero out of nowhere ruins the day. But... I think at this point, that's all really just irrelevant because I was distracting him from going to the MCOM anyways. And you can also tell that it's not all that difficult to do well with a FAMAS only hip fire if the other team looks like that. But I think that's all semantics at this point. I'm really not all that concerned. So, I want to thank you guys very much for your challenging challenges, which happen to be also challenging on challenging days. And if you would like to leave me any more, by all means. Granted, don't think that I don't read your challenges just because I don't make a video. I have seen a lot of your challenges. I read most of your comments. Don't worry. Pretty well all your comments. If if it's around the time. Not when I go to sleep because that would be a little weird. But I heard a, a class set up that you guys wanted like a demo man where I use a DAO with frags, an M320, and I run around and I use that. I know there's another. One of you recommended tugs only, but I don't know what I'm going to do with that unless I'm going to like anally probe somebody with it and hope that I can kill them. But keep the challenges flowing. I will keep looking at them and choosing ones that I really like. But don't be discouraged if I don't pick your challenge or suggestion. I still read it and I still thank you for it. But I'll see you guys next time. Auf Wiedersehen und bis bald und later.